Jamie. Lee. How are you? Oh, I'm fabulous. Bring it in. Yeah. Hey. Nice Before to see you. Before we start, right, this is not sponsored. I only met you yesterday. That's right. When I was going to egg. <laughs> which was excellent, by so the way. So fabulous, Cosmopolitan. Great. Who thought of that, though? Who knows? Anyway, that's not why we're here today. I want to go on a tour, right? And you told me that I could go on a helicopter, I could go on a horse, I can get some food, and if I want, I can do uh, an all-terrain vehicle. And sh And sh as well. It's all optional. How, how much is that? So it starts at $350. That's picking you up, taking you by Mercedes Sprinter, first class. Did you say? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Yep, Three hundred and fifty dollars. Can you say that closer to the camera? Three hundred and fifty dollars. That's three hundred and fifty dollars. What's the? I'm doing an American commercial. What's the catch? The catch is we've been here twenty-five years, so we have an exclusive with the Grand Canyon Ranch Adventure Tour. It's fabulous. And you can book it with you, Diva Tours. Diva Tours, thirty-seven. 58 Las Vegas Boulevard South, in right next to the Park MGM, located in CVS. And wait, that's not all. See what I did there? Like the American commercial, <laughs> right? If you book today, you get to see you as well. You do get to see me. We also have ranges, we have kayaking, we have an abundance of tours all at a discount price. Show tickets. Come down and see us when you're in town. I'm going to do the $350. Yes. Because yeah, I'm English and I'm a cheapskate. Well, but it's I, the best store. But I tell you what, I've actually had people say in the comment section, that's a bargain. Yes, because normally they retail between four and $700, but we have an exclusive for $300. $50. Wow. And if you book today, you get an extra. No, you don't. It's none of that. No, uh, <laughs> anyway, listen, if you're new to the channel, all right, it's the American commercials, isn't it? It's yes. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. And do you have white teeth? I do. Yes, you do, like an American. There we go. <laughs> right, can you say like, subscribe? Like, subscribe. The Mac Master, the best in the business. And then, and then you need to say, right, wait there, don't go anywhere. Can you say, Without further ado, my friends, let's go! Right, it's all booked. Wow, yay! And it was $350. $350. Do you know what? It was so, so simple. It was really nice. And it's such, you know, you can come along and you can feel a little apprehensive about booking tours and who to book tours with. I've done this in Tenerife and I ended up making a really good friend with my good friend Daniel over there. And he's a tour operator. And it's who you deal with, and that's why I came back to you. Oh, you're, you're sweet. Just, you just got that nice personality. So. Thank you. And it's a really, really, they're very professional in there, uh, and it's really easy to book, and they've got some fantastic tours. So I'm looking forward to this. So what's the itinerary? Uh, they pick me up first in a Mercedes. They pick you up, you go out to the Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. Yeah. You'll spend about 20 minutes there or so okay. on the bridge for photos. Yeah. You go on to the Joshua Tree Forest. Those are the big giant cactus, beautiful. That you see on like the the westerns. Yes. Now you get to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. You'll take a 20 minute flight, 1500 feet below the rim, by helicopter, right down the middle of it. Fabulous, fabulous, nothing like it. You'll come back, you'll go to the ranch, yeah. called the Grand Canyon Ranch. Yeah. You'll go over there if you decide, it's optional. You can go horseback riding. You can do the- Is, is that in the 350? No, it's optional. It's oh, the horseback each, riding? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, um, and the ATVs, the all-terrain vehicles. Yeah. And you can go- And do all that if you want to as well. If you want to. 
okay. you have a lunch yeah. while you're out there. Okay. Fully, Is that included? Fully inclusive in the price. It's fabulous. Okay. Some of the helicopter rides I actually saw were over $1,000. Yes, we've been in business 25 years. Diva Tours on Las Vegas Boulevard, CVS, right next to the Park MGM. So we have exclusives with some of the best companies because they trust us. And then I'm back here for 2.30 in the afternoon. Yes. 6 a.m. I start at 2.30. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to take you guys with us. You're going to see some amazing sites. So if you do want to book, and I'm not sponsored, I paid for it on my HSBC card before anyone starts, okay? So come along, see Jamie, and book with Jamie. I'll right? be glad to help you. Yeah, it's nice that anybody comes to Vegas that I who you can trust so it's nice to oh know. yes so come along and see jamie and uh, get get it booked so right can you do me a favor anything can you, can you click your fingers yeah can you go really without knocking the camera off can you go to about here and click the fingers again I did, noise. I, it didn't long. work i'll do it watch watch ready yeah. watch. you know what you've got to have the magic are you ready stay with us ready Good morning, my friends. Well, that was a quick transition, wasn't it? Well, I'm outside the New York, New York in Vegas, and I'm going to take the biggest gamble of my life because you can come to Vegas and you want to go on some kind of excursion, and there are many excursion companies here in Vegas, and it's a bit of a gamble, really, on which one that you actually take. Do you take the right excursion company? And if you take the wrong one, you could end up at rock bottom. Or if you take the right one, you could end up flying high. And today, that's what we're gonna do, because we went to see Jamie yesterday. I've booked, I've paid for it, and I'm now waiting for a Mercedes van, I think it is, or a people carrier. And they're gonna take us out to the Grand Canyon. We're gonna have a look around at some, uh, uh, what is it, cactus or cacti, as they call it over in the United States. And we're also gonna take a helicopter ride through the Grand Canyon. Now this cost me $350, so hopefully they'll turn up and hopefully it'll be worth it because as I say, it's a gamble who you actually book your excursion company with. So we'll just wait around. I've got another five, 10 minutes for them to come. I've got my Factor 50 on, I've got my water in my backpack and I'm ready to roll. So come on, onwards my friends. Brad, you turned up. I'm You're here for here. you, sir. You're actually here. Bright and early. Bright and early. It's still semi-cool in Vegas And Brad at this is, hour. Brad is a very American name. All good. What are we gonna do today? Where are we gonna go? Where do you want to go? I want to go to the Grand Canyon. I want to go... To... I don't know if we can get there from here. Uh, helicopter as well. <laughs> oh, by helicopter we can go wherever you want to go, Helicopter sir. as well. Absolutely. And to see some cactus. Is it cactus or cacti? Well, it depends. Is there one or more? Uh, you're, you're way ahead of the game here. Most people wouldn't come up with cacti, especially at this early hour, sir. Do you know what? I think it's too early for me, so... Uh, let's, you're doing marvelous. Let's just, let's just go, oh, Charlie. Brilliant, as they say. How long will it take to get there? Uh, you're going to be a little over two hours. Two hours? Uh, we'll be back here for about half past two in the afternoon. Roughly. Yeah, don't hold me to two, two, two ish. I like ish. Can we go ish? We'll go ish. Brilliant. Onwards, my friends. Dam. There's quite a few steps to uh, tackle, so uh, there is a ramp as well. But I think we're going to try and uh, I think we're going to try and go for the steps. Now you will have seen on the footage on the way here, uh, Lake Mead. Apparently, uh, there's like a 
a rim around it because it's uh, running out of water. They haven't got enough water in there. You can do a little bit of research of that online. Anyway, let's go and have a look at Hoover Dam. I'm going to use the bathroom first, or the restrooms as they call them over here, look. There we go. Uh, and, uh, and then head up to Hoover Dam. Apparently you get a fantastic view. So come on, onwards. Deserts and bridge are dangerous places. Enter at your own risk. Listen, I'm going to do anything for the vlog. Let's go for it. By the way, no drones allowed. They were checking for them uh, when we came in. Right, so there is a ramp, but we're going to take the steps. Don't say I never walk off all them fish and chips. We can do this. Terrible shadows at the moment, so if you can see my camera, I do apologise, but I can't do anything about it. It's only half past seven in the morning. Sun's a little low. Right, so this is the bridge. Ah, and here is the dam. Now, I have seen this before when I was 10 years old. Yes, and we, but we looked at it from memory, from the side, I think it was. It's changed now. It was 1980, August 1980, when I saw this last. So it was a long time ago with my mum and dad, but I do remember it. I wonder where we are. Ah, must, we must have seen it from the road down there then. That. Now I have a good memory, but from back then, that there was where we looked at it from. There's a viewing point down there, and that's where me and my mum and dad looked at it from. Right, better get back, I've got three minutes to get back to the bus. <laughs> Took a little bit longer than, uh, than normal. Let's get back. Don't want the bus, well, I don't think they'll leave without me, but they won't be very pleased. Last one on the bus. Right, I'm gonna take a shortcut. Whoop, there we go. Gotta get back to the bus, come on. Ah. It's still there. Keep going. I feel like I should be uh, in that car, really. It's nice. What is it? It's got, at least it's got exhaust pipes, so it's not electric. Let's have a quick look while well, they're all waiting. Now that's the way to travel really, isn't it? Nice. Corvette, California Reg plate. Very nice. It's the minibus for me. So I was just asking whereabouts the viewpoint would have been when I came with my parents uh, in 1980. She said it would be over the Arizona side. And apparently you can still do that. There's a few parking lots there. So that's where I would have actually seen it with my parents. To be fair, um, from memory, I think this is probably a better view, but who knows? Have a look online. Anyway, let's get back on the bus.
Right, so a little pit stop because the, uh, the helicopter is a little bit uh, late. So we've stopped off to have a look at the Joshua trees and the Grand Wash Cliffs here behind. So Joshua trees just here, look, and Grand Wash Cliffs, take a look. Now, apparently they're called Joshua trees. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the lady said in the uh, in the minibus, she said it's named after a guy called Joshua who prayed and held his hands in the air because the, uh, the leaves point upwards into the air. So they call them Joshua trees. Apparently, allegedly. Let me know if I'm wrong in that comment section down below. I'm going to say they're a bit sharp. Right, back to the minibus. Nice little stop there. Right, we're going to change vans now into yeah. the one that I just said looks like Scooby Doo's van. <laughs> the van from Scooby Doo. <laughs> there we go. I think this has uh, got bigger tyres on to get up uh, off-road. <laughs> we give you a quick ride in this one to make us appreciate the Mercedes on the way home. <laughs> Is there a Starbucks or a McDonald's anywhere around here? <laughs> like that? No? The last Starbucks was uh, truck stops. <laughs> truck stops, no house. Starbucks, no McDonald's. <laughs> oh well, it's worth a try. Oh, you can. You can leave them here. Oh, do I talk to you? Or you can bring them in either way. Right. So we're at the saloon now. Last, last chance restaurant and saloon. Uh, they're going to weigh us for the helicopter because obviously weight uh, means a lot in a helicopter. Uh, I haven't eaten since yesterday. So that's good. And no fish and chips yesterday either. Um, and then uh, because and also uh, the heat plays a part as well so uh, get we'll get weighed for the helicopter and that also uh, denotes where i'm going to be positioned in the helicopter i'm hoping a window but if not we'll still we'll still capture footage let's go and get weighed i'm not telling you my weight either you're not having that information <laughs> Hang on. Well, get off your horse and drink your milk. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not quite John Wayne, eh? Anyway, I think we'll go back for the uh, baseball cap. Suits me better. Hey, there we go. Manchester, Bath, Bristol, Sheffield, Birmingham and Leeds. Ha. So I'm, going to be, I'm going to be taking this with me, this camera. So do I hold this? Yes. Okay. Can I take this little backpack or? Uh, I would leave that behind. Leave that behind? Yeah. I, can, I can leave it with you? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll keep it with you for now, but okay. we'll leave it up here. Okay, oh, right. I'm going to stand on here. Everything else is coming with me. Here we go. If I breathe in, does it make me any lighter? <laughs> is that good? Yes, that's good. How many pounds am I? 245. 245 pounds. 245 pounds. I need to stop eating fish and chips. How, how many? 
How many stones is that? Tall, so I knew you were 200. To a, I, I knew right it's the tallness. I didn't know how the much more. how much? Yeah, yeah. Tall. I am tall. You, you look good. For it's your weight. You thank you. Good. See, I look good for my weight. I'm yes. just yeah, I look good for my weight. That's good. No diets, no diets required. Yeah. More fish and chips. So they've got a bar here, they've got beer. However, I'm having a Diet Coke at the moment and uh, lots of little stuff in here. You've got Pringles, you've got Mexican candy. Uh, and over here, just in case, have a look at this. A pregnancy test, just in case. I don't know why you need that out here, to be honest, but there we go. Uh, anyway, right, I'm gonna drink my Diet Coke. And then we're gonna have a look around outside. Cheers. Right, got my crisps, my ruffles, and my ham cob, uh, which is part of the uh, price that you pay. Thank you very much. Oh, and a Diet Coke, another Diet Coke. There we go. This has got cheese, we've got tomato, we've got lettuce, and we've got ham on there. Mmm. Right, I'll eat this. Should have got weighed after this, shouldn't I? Does that count? That'd be extra, wouldn't it? I'll be happier. Right, so I've got about 25 minutes before my flight. I'm on the third flight. <clears throat> so I thought we'd have a wander around. Uh, a look at the teepees up here and uh, stagecoaches, is it? It's like being in a western. A western! And then uh, maybe have a look at the, <laughs> the bison, is it? The bison? But I don't think we'll get too close. I, lo <laughs> I love how these teepees have got a front door. A proper front door <laughs> with a handle on it. And you know what? This is absolutely fantastic, really. It's been, it's nice to get out of Vegas. It's going to be nice to have the helicopter ride as well and uh, see that. I'm looking forward to that. Seeing the Hoover Dam as well was great to see that again. As I say, I've not seen it since 1980. My dad would have loved this, and I'll tell you what he would have done as well. He would have done the horseback riding because he was always into cowboys. When I grew up, I grew up watching cowboy movies with him. John Wayne and Kirk Douglas, I think it was. He used to watch them all. She wore a yellow ribbon, I think it was, with uh, John Wayne. He had, uh, and we came out 1980. I've said this before, and we did a, a tour of America. I was only 10, I didn't really appreciate it, to be honest. Um, and we did all the different ghost towns and all the Western stuff and everything, and he loved it. He bought himself a Stetson. This is great. If you come to Vegas, you just get out of Vegas. To be fair, three days is enough on the Strip and in Vegas. I mean, 10 days, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. Luckily, I've got plenty to film. Right, let's go and have a look at these bison. Hopefully they don't charge me. I mean, you get charged for everything else in Vegas. What do you want for free? Here's the helicopter. I'm a cowboy and I'm here to round you up. Come on, yeehaw! He doesn't look overly impressed. All right, mate. There's the big one. There's the big one. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Hey up. Hello. Come on. Get here. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to mess with that. I think I might get the horns look a bit. Mm, look a bit. The big one's gone over there. Yeah, scared. It's because I'm from Mansfield. See? It's run off. Chicken. See? Don't mess with the Mansfield lad. I know what he's thinking. He's thinking, oh, it's that cock womble off YouTube. 
and then walks off. Let's get anyway. Enough. Come on, it's not funny. Let's get back up to the helicopter. I'll never be a comedian. Let's go and see if we can manage to see this take off. See you later on my plate. I have to say, I prefer it out here to Vegas. Oh, I've got another three or four days left yet. Crikey. I, literally this morning as well, I went to the ATM to get some money out. I wanted $13 just to draw my own money out. I said, you can do one, mate. I'll go and find it from somewhere else. Statistically speaking, and that's not easy to say for me, is it safe to travel in a helicopter? I've done it, I've done it before, did it in Tenerife a few times. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, should get a great view. If you are enjoying the video, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, it doesn't cost you a penny. Get my, get my trainers dusty. Need to hang on to my hat. Could blow off, apparently. Keep hold of that. Don't want to lose my Yankees hat. I come with you. Yes. Okay, here we go. Well, you have a You can hear me, but we have Corey here, who is the pilot. He's going to fly us through or through the Grand Canyon, down into the Grand Canyon. Down into the Grand Canyon. So I'm looking forward to this. It's a good seat. It's got a great view, and uh, so we're going to take off shortly. So we're uh, looking forward to this. I have no idea whether you can hear me. So most vehicles, like a boat, car, motorcycle, uh, you say, "Oh, he's going to get us." But that's not really hard enough. My blades are all flat, there's no thrust being produced. I'm just getting the engine up to where all the power is at. Okay. Okay, I got like a twist it. All the way open. That's that, that's that. Good. Now I'm ready to start. I need blades to pitch in the blades.
think I'm alright now. <laughs> Woo! Right, I'm going to tell you right now, I am never, ever scared of heights. I've flown in planes multiple times, I've flown in helicopters, but that is daunting. It's amazing though. When you go over and you just go over the edge of the canyon, that's the point where you clench your buttock sheets. It's like, whoa, it's just a long way down, but wow, wow. That's the only word for it. Absolutely amazing. Right, so we're going back now into the mystery machine and uh, we're heading off now to go to a range where I can't say the word and I can't film it. Even though it's in the constitution, I can't film it, I can't put it on YouTube, but you've got the idea. I'm not doing it, but there's a couple of people here gonna do it. You get, you get the meaning, don't you? Do you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, so we're gonna do that. I'll film a little bit outside, uh, but I've gotta be careful what I film because you can't put it on uh, on YouTube so there we go and I'm adhering by the rules YouTube if you're watching Right, we've stopped for the uh, guys to do the, uh, you know, pew pew thing, right, okay. Uh, but over here, this is the world's longest monster truck. So we uh, gonna look at this. Now this is interesting. Look at the, the tyres on this thing. Just look how big this thing is. It's mad. I mean, look at the tyres on this thing. I mean, it's huge. I'd hate to think how much one of these tyres was, though. What do you reckon? How much do you reckon? Ah, uh, it's got to be two to three thousand, I'm guessing. Two to three thousand. Look at how wide. These are a new set of tyres. I'd be like, it, you can imagine, can't you? Need some new tyres for this. Whoa, it's going to cost you. Look at the back of there. That's mad. <laughs> And would you believe it, over here, <laughs> I can't believe this, we're in the middle of the desert, right? And over here, you have, you've gone from, stay with me, this is interesting, right? You go from the world's largest monster truck, right, to a classic Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Just look at that, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2. Look at that. That is class. Silver lady on the front there. Proper Rolls Royce, that. Now, these are the kind of videos that I like doing. I love doing these. I've said, I'm not a food channel. I just do a little bit of fun showing people around, and I love it. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Looks a bit odd. Looks a little bit like a Henry Hoover head with this weird. I love places like this, it's brilliant, isn't it? Like well, got gas lotto snacks, vapes. Get some gas! This is great. And it is so warm, I tell you. Got Rambo over there. Murdoch, I'm coming for you. Arizona, Grand Canyon glamping. This is great. I love it. I mean, oh, this is great. I'm going to go and have a look at the gift shop in here and see what you can get. It'll be tat. This is the American tank over there. And look, you can sit outside here, look. Nice little area outside, have a look. 
But I'm not sure how you actually get in here. Where's the entrance? I can't see an entrance here. There's no door. Where's the door? And everyone's gone. Don't leave me here. Enter. There we go. The Iron Zoltar. Listen, don't start with me. Right, let's look at what we've got in here. I love places like this. Just yeah. having a look around. What have we got? Got some shirts up here. There we go. Controversial. Big pumpkin seeds. Mounds. What else have we got? Big Kit Kat. Baby Ruth. Crunch. Payday. Love a payday. What have we got in here? Five hour energy. Prime. No thanks. Give me that, that stuff. Rubbish. What are we going to get in here? Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look what we've got. We've got any Mountain Dew? Yes. Boom. What have we got here? Got some sauces. There you go. Uh -huh. Mountain Dew and a Twix ice cream. Hmm. A, uh, a dust devil by the way. That's mad. Right, we'll finish this off. First of all I want to say thanks to Rena and Brad who was our tour guides there today. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and they really made the tour worthwhile. And also the pilot as well was fantastic. I mean, the pilot was so, so friendly. Uh, there, there they go. Um, it was a fantastic, see you later, Brad. Bye. Um, the pilot was amazing. Look, do you know what? I can't rate this highly enough. You come here, you take a gamble on what excursion company that you actually use and you know you could end up <laughs> at rock bottom like i said if you get the wrong excursion company these guys are fantastic 350 euros for the day including the helicopter ride including a sandwich which did, did the trick and a, and a drink and a great tour guide you got to see the hoover dam you got escorted around for me yeah that made my uh, my made my day. It's made made my visit to Vegas. That one has superb. Can't rate it highly enough. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I have to say my palms were a bit sweaty on that uh, on that helicopter. But what views, eh? Give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.